They looked at 10 factors, physical abuse, emotional abuse, mental health issues in the home, substance abuse, someone was incarcerated, so there were 10 of these. And as you checked off more of these, that was correlated, can't say cause, but it was correlated with the incidence of all of our major sources of disease um, in this country. So all of the major sources of morbidity and mortality increased proportionally as you checked off more of these boxes of these 10 indicators. So whether that's heart disease, chronic lung disease, diabetes, stroke, these are the major causes of morbidity and mortality. All of those were more likely to occur the more boxes you checked. And it was so profound, in fact, that if you checked six or more compared to someone who didn't have any of these, which only 30% of the population had zero of these, but if you were on the higher end, six or more, that's a lot of adversity, compared to someone who had zero, your average life expectancy was 20 years reduced. So again, it's not saying that you will never get the disease, but you're gonna get it younger if you've had greater stress and greater adversity. And that's because of what's happening to you on a cellular level. We hear about this all the time. If you have a chronic health issue, or if someone in your family does, some of the first medical advice your doctors are gonna give you is you have to reduce the stress in your life, right? Stress is not good for any health issue. It's not good for preventing health issues and it's not good for treating health issues. So always, no matter what your health condition, more stress is less helpful. So we know that, we hear more and more of that, but that's exactly what's going on for infants and toddlers and that's impacting them on a biological cellular level.